And I assume this is uh, a York. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you, know, you know the story about this one, right? No. no. Okay, well, first of all, have you talked about Junius Brutus Booth, the father? One of the two or three popular actors in the first half of the 19th century. And they would travel throughout the country, before radio, before TV, and movies, obviously. And they would go out to the West, and they'd play mining towns and cowboy towns. And people knew, even if they were illiterate, they knew the Bible, and they knew a lot of Shakespeare by heart. Yeah. Were you were talking about that earlier? Well, uh, this is uh, authenticated. Around the 1840s, they had caught up with a horse thief out West. And as they put the uh, noose around his neck, he said, I have one request. Please give my skull to Mr. Booth, meaning Junius Brutus, so I can be in his productions of Hamlet. Oh, and that's thrilling. I did not know <laughs> This that. was uh, used by Junius and handed down to Edwin. Huh. And it only left this room once since Booth's death, and that was on the centenary, I guess it would have been 1993, the centenary of Booth's uh, death. Steve Lang was doing Hamlet at the Roundabout. Hmm. And they took this with under armed guard and, <laughs> and swaddling and everything else, and they brought it up to the Roundabout. Well, Ju will you, uh, will you uh, give Jude Law, who's coming to Broadway uh, this season in Hamlet, a chance to? Uh, I sure will. You we'll will. give him a chance to do that. <laughs> and Absolutely. it's signed by Edwin Booth. Booth. Hmm. Uh, yes, and I, we think that's a Masonic sign there as well, because he, oh, okay. he was a ma uh, master mason. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Fascinating. Here, Howard, you want to work? Oh, it's thrilling to think that a cowboy yeah. wanted to be in Hamlet. Isn't that amazing? It's a different world. He wanted to play York, but what he really wanted to do was direct. Yeah. <laughs>